I'm gonna sit down by the camera. There's gonna be something serious. Oh. Turn it on, Phil. Turn on the vlog energy. It's been months. It has been absolutely months. How are you all doing, guys? I'm back. That has been a running theme for the past year of videos. Ever since, basically, I had this big accident. As you can tell from the title of this video, it's a bit of a sad vlog video. Um, I'm gonna tell you the abbreviated, as short as I possibly can story of how I tore my ACL. If you don't know who I am, Philip Class. I make YouTube videos of traveling around the world. And this one is all about how unfortunately I had a big, big accident while skiing. And it put my life on hold for a good six months. Um, yeah. Hmm. I had a lot of vlog footage to get through. I'm just gonna go through the bit where I actually had the accident um, because it was a whole holiday trip where I went to Canada. I've been to Canada before, you know, me going to Canada. Um, oh, I haven't done this in so long. I don't know how to speak. Ugh. So where do I start? Start at the beginning. Started editing this video, got major PTSD from being in the mountains. So if you don't know, I love skiing. I go skiing in Canada pretty much every year. And then I had the opportunity to take a month off work and I went skiing. And the one day I went skiing, on the last run of the only day I went skiing, I had an accident. And so let's just start with the footage and we'll, we will go from there. Started off like any other normal day of skiing. We were having the best time. Um, I main reason I went back was to see two of my cousins who I didn't see the first time I went on um, the trip the week before, the month before. Um, that was to see Joe and Brianne because I hadn't seen them and we were going to go skiing. So mainly I was skiing with Joe most of the day. But um, lots of other people were there, lots of the cruise clan, other people, you know who you are. Yeah, so it's just a normal day of skiing. We had some great runs. Um, I just had my skis waxed. I'd never skied on freshly waxed skis before. So there are many factors I'm gonna go through to why this may have happened. Um, the main one is because I'm an idiot and cocky and think I can ski better than I can. But there are many factors. So factor one, Whew! I had fresh skis. They were freshly waxed and freshly edged. If you haven't been skiing before, um, your, the edge of your skis and snowboard even more important with your skis is very important because it's how you carve up the snow. It's how you turn, it's where you, it's how you, um, <laughs> It's how you make your moves on the slopes because when you're turning, you don't turn with your skis like sliding along the snow like that. You turn them so they're carving into the snow, if that makes sense. So you're using your edges. So freshly cut edges make a big, big difference in the skiing. And they also had a fresh coat of wax on the bottom, which means to go faster. So I was getting to grips with the skis like a little bit at the beginning of the day just to like kick things off. Great day, Lake Louise, couldn't have asked for better conditions, silly sunny. Oh, I mean, look at it, it's just gorgeous, it's so nice there. So all was going well and it was fantastic and the skiing was amazing, perfect conditions. But as you can see, I was taking a few tumbles here and there. This one here that was being filmed, I was just going way too fast and I just, just took a huge tumbles with Ollie. Um, luckily, just I thought I could pop over the top of this little hill, but didn't know the run very well. So I just lost a bit of momentum and, yeah, crashed. And then there was another one. Yeah, so this footage here, I'm going to slow this down. There's this footage here, right here. And I watched this back and I thought, oh my gosh, that's when I had the injury. That's when I hurt my knee. But it wasn't because I wasn't filming when I actually hurt my knee. But if I slow this down, you can literally see my right knee, which is the one I injured buckle completely underneath myself and curve under my body um, it's not fun whatsoever it doesn't look fun whatsoever but my knee was completely fine there and I don't know if you can see I'm gonna slow it down as slow as the GoPro will let me as my knee buckles there's no ski on my foot anymore from that point right here right there playing it frame by frame you click through my ski it comes off my ski pops off so, factor number two of why I had this injury. My skis didn't pop off. When I had this tumble, this little um, crash, um, I was going down, one of my skis popped off, my left ski. Um, my right ski never popped off. If you don't know, again, if you've never been skiing, you have bindings on your skis, they're set to different levels. Um, the heavier, the um, better skier you are, the more you want your skis to stay on. Um, the more amateur of a skier you are, you have a looser level. So if you do crash or if you do make a turn too tight, it means the skis pop off and you're safe because you're just rub you're not skiing anymore, so you're safe. My binding settings have been going up each year because I'm getting better and better. Um, but maybe these ones were too tight, but because one popped off, the other one should have popped off. There's no reason why I shouldn't have. 
Um, so then we fast forward all, all the way through to when I actually had my accident. I don't have any footage, unfortunately, of the accident because I didn't have my GoPro attached to my helmet uh, because guess what? It smacks off on another crash I had. Um, you can see a running team here, guys. And so I'm going on this black run. It's not a difficult black run, but it is still a black run. So it's a, a double diamond, if you know what that means. It's one of the more difficult runs. It's like... Um, quite a tough one and it's the end of the day it's the last one of the penultimate runs we're doing and I just see a gap in these trees and I'm cutting through trees left right center it's through these this glade section they call it in Canada don't know what they call it in Europe um, but there's lots of trees everywhere as you can see in the footage and I'm cutting through all these trees and I see a gap just between two trees that I can just fit about but I pop through this gap far too quickly and so as soon as I go through the gap, I hit air, and I mean I hit air that I didn't realise was there. And so I'm free falling through the air for a, probably about a second or two. It felt like a lot longer, but a second or two in the air is like a while. And so when I hit the ground, I lose control and I start tumbling. And when I say tumbling, I'm like head over heels, head over heels, free falling. And my left ski pops off, and then on the third or fourth roll down the hill, my right ski, this is the slope going down here, my right ski wedges itself into the snow but my knee keeps moving in the direction I was and just buckles on itself it just twists um, your knee is not meant to rotate like that round in a circle so I feel a pop I feel an instantaneous pain uh, probably the, some of the worst pain I've ever felt um, and then I slid to a stop on the hill and I screamed I screamed for a cry probably more for a cry for help for someone to come and stop me sliding down the hill because I was just sliding down the hill probably a, a fair, a fair like fairly quick speed um, so Joe, who I was skiing with on the day, um, stopped me, and then instantly, because they've been skiing since they were kids, he um, flagged down a ski patroller. Oh, you momento. Sorry, a lovely gentleman in the hotel I'm staying at just came and collected some room service I had earlier. Even privileged life, as you can. Oh, I haven't even explained. I'm in Dubai right now, guys. I'm back flying after a long time off. I'm gonna give you a bit of a time frame. Um, but I'm back flying, so I had a lot of time off because of my knee. I'm back doing my job that I was doing, which is traveling around a lot. Um, and I'm in Dubai right now, and Dubai is not my favorite place in the world. Um, it's quite new, there's not much culture going on here. Unless you have a lot of money to burn through your pocket, burning through your pockets, it's very expensive. Um, so I've had a very chill trip, and I've got about, I've got about eight or nine vlogs to edit, guys. This one I've been meaning to do for months. Um, so yeah, so anyway, let's crack on, let's crack on. Where was I? Rolling down the hill. I felt this instantaneous pop. Joe signalled for someone immediately and he went and got a ski patroller. Ski patroller, lovely lady, forgotten her name unfortunately, was there within what felt like... Sorry, I'm very, very thirsty because I've been to the gym as well. I've been to the gym. Um, this is a lovely tea, sorry. Speaking with her and she goes, oh, how you doing? Have you lost consciousness at all? I'm like, no, so instantly there's no red flag because it means I haven't hit my head and what happened? And oh, your knee hurts a bit, okay. At this point, this is maybe like 20 minutes after the accident's happened, adrenaline is obviously flowing, but my knee didn't hurt at all, it was a dull thud, but my knee didn't hurt, so I'm praying to every single god up there that my, um, that I've only just sprained it or something, I'm hoping that it isn't that bad. Um, so they put me on this stretcher, as you can see, um, a huge toboggan thing, um, skidoo is what they call it, a uh, skidoo. I've had a, I've had a tumble. Well, unfortunately, I've had my first ever skiing injury, but these guys have been amazing. I'm not happy with myself. Genuinely, fun like a non-vloggy thing. Thanks for you're really helpful there. I had a mini, I had a mini meltdown. I was like, work, sport. <laughs> so I think it's about time right now that I say, if I didn't have my cousins with me right there on the slope, um, this could have gone a whole lot worse. Yeah, I can't thank you enough, Joe. Yeah, um, big brosif to the bro um you helped me out massively and then everyone else along the way all the other cruise clans and timothy um and riley everyone else who was there that day i think riley was there i'm not sure anyway these are all friends of family and family of friends um helped me out and they were even helping pushing the toboggan they were keeping me calm they took all my bags i um, just generally looking after me so thank you guys i love you guys gonna thank you you're gonna be like how old are you now 23 yeah you're gonna be 23 when this is over Maybe. Well, I'm hoping it's over in like a week. Well, I mean, let's just take it easy. One week, Philip's fixed. Mark my words. You're going to be in your 20s when you're fixed. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to play this like, there might be serious repercussions to this if it's injured badly. That's future Phil's problem. Like, gymnastics, it's all knees. Use your knees the entire time. Squatting, my favourite lift is all knees. 
Oh, come on, Phillips knee. Behave. Do you, do you need a hand Carrying on, it backwards? Um, they have these two lovely ski patrol ladies who are now um, taking me from the top of the mountain. It's called Top of the World at Lake Louise, I believe. It might be sunshine. All the way down to the bottom of the mountain. So we could not be further away from the med tent, the medical tent, um, than we were. And they had to get me through hard, hard sections of trees where basically I struggle to ski normally down there. And they're skiing down there with me, pulling me. Sorry. After this happens, um, um, you can hear it in the video, she obviously tells me to stop filming. Quite rightly too, I stopped filming out of respect. Maybe don't film. <laughs> Please, thank you. I then had an assessment down in the medical tent. She used to be a nurse, the lady who assessed me. She did a load of stress maneuvers on my knee and she, she said, can you walk on it? And I could, I could put all my weight through my knee and I was limping, but I could walk on my knee. Um, everyone knows if you've had an injury or a sprain or something, you're encouraged to walk on it because it, I don't know the medical um, side that deeply, but it encourages blood flow and it can stiffen up ma massively um, if you just sit on your ass for a day or two and not doing anything. So rest, ice compression, elevation, rice, if you ever have a joint um, sprain or strain, did that immediately, but then I started putting a bit of weight through it and it wasn't painful. This is the thing that keeps bugging me. It didn't hurt at all. We ended up that night driving four hours to Edmonton from Lake Louise, three and a half hours to go partying. That was the original plan. So instead of going to hospital, because I was adamant I hadn't injured my knee, we then went partying. And so I had an x-ray on the NHS, praise the NHS, um, got me an x-ray within two days, fantastic. But there is no medical consensus on knees, in my opinion, in England, in Europe. Everyone does things differently and everyone has a different idea of um, how to mend knees or if a knee is actually injured or how to jump through hoops to get scans and stuff anyway So I have an x-ray nothing's broken. I'm like happy days the positives just keep getting higher and higher I'm Not on crutches. I'm not on anything and I go and see my physio who I've known for a couple of years I've only used him three or four times But I go and see him and then he goes after feeling my knee and having a little look at my knee He goes who's told you that you haven't had any ligament damage done and I say oh the NHS nurse and he went hmm And anyway, I think you've damaged your ACL and instantly I go, no, in my head. The ACL is not the ligament you want to injure in your knee. It's one of the main you've got. Your ACL and your MCL, they cross over in your knee like this. And they create stability in your knee joint. MRI on the NHS was going to be months. So I fork out a silly amount of money for a private MRI. I get the MRI and unfortunately it confirmed my worst fears. And I'd ruptured my ACL grade four completely in half. Um, not fun. Um, so if you don't know what that means, that's basically your ligaments here moving and bending with your knee. And when I had the skiing accident, when my knee rotated, it popped. Because of everything that's going on in my life in terms of sports and everything you guys know if you don't know, um, I love loads of different sports um, as well as skiing. And I'm also training to get into stunt work and do stunt acting. That's another video. I'll put that link in the description down below. That video is going to look just like this video because I remember I'm sitting in a towel um, in a dressing gown of the video in a hotel. Talkie talkie. The only option was surgery. So I have indeed had surgery on my knee. Um, this That was in May. We are now in September. So it's been a good few months and I'm very happy with how everything's gone. It was a massive setback. I will briefly talk about, um, I'm gonna have to edit this video down quite drastically, but it's not fun being injured. If anyone asks me what I was scared of at all, if you have any fears and some people say money or debt or whatever, the only two things I'm, I'm actually scared of in my adult life right now are losing someone, a family member, and injuring myself. And I managed to do both in the space of two or three months. Um, it was mentally really tough. I am I went from having two jobs, being busy as hell, to sitting at home, watching TV, and doing absolutely sod all. And it's, and it's, you've got to do it. There's a certain amount of when you're injured, you have to take that in your stride and you have to just get on with it. But mentally, it's a kick in the head to someone who is so, so active and I love out and about and not even working hard also. Like I love socializing, I love being with friends and my parents couldn't do enough for me when I was back in Somerset. I love them to bits. I couldn't be lucky, I'm so lucky to have the parents I have and they basically waited on me day and night when I had this immediately after I had the surgery and supported me but it's not it's not enough and that's not nothing to do with my parents but it's just because of where I'm based in the countryside and I don't have many friends there and it's also because there's just nothing going on in some ways if I was still based in London I think it would have pushed me to 
um, get back on my feet quicker and get back into my lifestyle that I had quicker. And it's a big, long journey. I'm still not allowed to do any proper sports until next year. We're in September. I'm not allowed to do anything until late January, early February. So that's no gymnastics, no weightlifting. I think I've covered everything. Yeah, that was that's basically just a video for everyone who knew I had the injury but didn't know exactly how it happened. All my close friends do, so you can skip through this video halfway through to give me support and then just leave. <laughs> um, but anyone who's actually interested in in it, that's how it happened. Um, I'm going to leave you here with this little segment of video, which I think is quite fitting, um, which is me in the car straight after I've had the accident, basically explaining how um, I hadn't done any ligament damage to my knee. Terrible idea. So we're, um, we're back in the car, good news, verdict. Um, I had an assessment inside the um, medical hut, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And uh, hopefully there's no ligament damage because she squeezed all my ligaments, gave them a poke, um, it didn't hurt at all. Um, all the ones, um, she can't obviously can't do the ACL or the one that runs through the patella. And then I'll see you in the next video. There are a silly amount of videos to come. I'm gonna pull my finger out. A few people actually do want to see them, mainly fat or close family. Um, but then lots of other people are actually quite interested in some of the places I've been to recently. It's safe to say there's going to be a bit more activity on this YouTube. If you don't follow me already, quickly click the subscribe button underneath below um, if this was interesting whatsoever to you. If you've had an injury or you've ever got any tips or comments or um, helpful things for me to carry on with the physio treatment I've got and the plan I've got for the next six months, leave a comment below. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm uploading loads on there at the moment and I usually do stories mostly every other day. Whenever I'm traveling, I do a story and I'll see you in the next one. And also, we still haven't told these guys' parents. Um, and which, is, not... which is more scary than, yeah. than the actual incident.